Making a buzz right now, former Sun star Charles Barkley is getting a lot of attention for some comments he made over the weekend. Barkley was hosting TNT's NBA playoff coverage when a camera showed presumptive presidential nominee Mitt Romney in the crowd at the Celtics Hawks game. Mitt Romney. Yeah, he's at the game in Boston tonight. Hey, listen, baby, man, we're going to beat you like a drum in November. Don't take it personally. I like you. You seem like a nice guy. But you going down. Well, as you might expect, the comments have drawn a lot of attention online with comments pouring in at a furious rate. What do you think? Was Barkley oh, out of line? Should he have saved his commentary for basketball and uh, just skip the politics altogether? Or are you okay with him sharing his opinion? All righty, 550 KFYI's Mike Broomhead. You love Barkley. You I love said Barkley. that. You like Barkley, but yep. what about this uh, well, Okay, I'll tell you what. For a guy that gets paid to give his opinion, I have no issue. It's up to the, it's up to the channel. If they don't like him doing it, because you're going to alienate a big part yeah. of your audience. Um, I disagree with Charles, but at the same time, he's, he's a great soundbite. So I have no issue with a guy giving his opinion. As long as the network understands, you're going to make 50% of your audience angry. And he does that all the time. That's his that's job. His that's I mean, why that's they that's pay him. That's what he does. That is, that that is, is Charles that Barkley. Is, and as long as it's both ways, I have no issue with someone giving their opinion. As long as they understand, you're yeah. alienating people. You know, and he wasn't so much of a jerk about it. When you listen to what he said, it was oh, kind of tongue-in-cheek. And, well, you he, know, and he, <laughs> believe me, he said much worse. Yeah, I, I've right. heard him say much worse. So, yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? But, what, you know, Barkley once described himself as a Republican. Right. I mean, he has said that before. I am a Republican, but he is, a, a lately, a, a Barack Obama fan, and he has said that as well. Yeah, well, he also has said some pretty disparaging thing about the Republican Party and Republicans in general. That might be going too far, because it's more than alienating right. people in votes and insulting people, but nothing he said was insulting, and look how much play he's getting everywhere else. So, maybe mission accomplished, you know? Yeah. All right, let's get to what you're saying. Marianne says, Charles, I love you, uh, but you are entitled to your opinion. I just don't agree with you. Marilyn, we'll Marilyn Tucker McCall says, I think it's America, and he can say whatever. It isn't violent or threatening. And Gina Perez says, I don't see the problem, but if Mitt doesn't win, then I don't want to live on this planet anymore. <laughs> Adam Owen said, Sir Charles said it best. I agree, with, I agree with everything he said. And Christian Eng says, he's also the guy that said the Nuggets <laughs> are going to be the <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, how much do you really put into exactly. stars? And do you think stars really do play a kind of an endorsement key when they make, think, make statements like I, that? Especially with politics, I don't think it matters. I mean, celebrity endorsements are meaningless, and, and they're fun to have, but in the end, people are going to, especially something as polarizing as an election right. like this, people are going to decide on a lot of bigger things than what Charles Barkley has to say. Mm -hmm. Be, be an educated right. voter, that's, that's what we always say. Absolutely right. All righty, next on ABC.